Above the clouds, silent shadows move with deadly precision. No engine roar, no radar trace, just stealthy ghosts carrying the power to change the course of a war in a single strike. These aren't just aircraft, they're symbols of invisible power. From the legendary B-2 Spirit to the high-speed B-1B Lancer, and now the next generation B-21 Raider, the United States has built a triad of bombers that can penetrate enemy defenses, strike from thousands of miles away, and disappear before anyone even knew they were there. But how did this all begin, and where is it heading? It began with speed. In the 1970s, at the height of the Cold War, the U.S. needed a bomber that could race into Soviet airspace, deliver a nuclear payload, and get out before being intercepted. The answer? The B-1 Lancer, a sleek variable sweep wing bomber capable of flying at Mach 1.25 with a combat range of over 7,000 miles. But the B-1's path wasn't smooth. It was canceled, then resurrected by President Reagan as the B-1B, with upgraded radar evading capabilities. Though not as stealthy as the B-2, the B-1B could fly low and fast, hugging the terrain to avoid detection. It could carry the largest payload of any U.S. bomber, over 75,000 pounds, and in wars from Kosovo to Iraq, it proved itself again and again as a versatile war machine. But something was still missing. Speed was one thing, invisibility was another. Enter the B-2 Spirit, a bomber unlike anything the world had ever seen. First flown in 1989, the B-2 looked more like a UFO than a warplane. With its flying wing design, radar absorbent materials, and near invisible heat signature, it could penetrate the most advanced air defenses on Earth undetected. It wasn't just stealthy, it was a ghost in the sky. Capable of carrying nuclear or conventional bombs and flying over 6,000 nautical miles without refueling, the B-2 was designed to strike anywhere on the planet. During operations in Serbia, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya, B-2s took off from Missouri, dropped precision-guided munitions on enemy targets, and flew home, all in a single mission. But its power came at a price. Each B-2 costs over $2 billion, and only 21 were ever built. The aircraft was a masterpiece, but it was clear the future needed to be cheaper, smarter, and even stealthier. Now a new shadow rises. Unveiled in 2022, the B-21 Raider is America's newest stealth bomber, and it's designed to do everything the B-2 can, but better. Built by Northrop Grumman, the B-21 is shrouded in secrecy. But we know this. It's built using next-generation stealth, designed for survivability in a contested environment, and will be capable of both manned and unmanned operations. Unlike the B-2, the B-21 is modular and adaptable, ready to integrate AI systems, drone swarms, and hypersonic weapons in the future. Its name honors the Doolittle Raiders of World War II, men who dared to strike Tokyo in a surprise bombing raid. Like them, the B-21 is designed for deep penetration, far beyond enemy lines in the next great war. And here's the kicker, it's affordable. At around $700 million per unit, the B-21 will allow the U.S. to field over 100 bombers, creating the largest stealth bomber fleet in history. Why does the U.S. invest so heavily in stealth bombers? Because in modern warfare, the first strike can decide everything. In the opening hours of conflict, these bombers can destroy radar systems, missile sites, command centers, and even nuclear facilities, all before the enemy can respond. The B-1B delivers payload, the B-2 delivers precision, the B-21 delivers the future. Together, they form a triad of air power, giving the U.S. an edge no other nation can match. While Russia and China develop long-range weapons, 
None have fielded a bomber with the stealth and capability of even the B-2, let alone the B-21. This isn't just about technology, it's about deterrence. These aircraft send a message, you will never see the strike coming. But war never stands still. Hypersonic missiles, anti-stealth radars, space-based sensors, they're all rising threats. The question now is, can stealth survive? The answer lies in adaptation. The U.S. is pairing bombers with loyal wingman drones, integrating cyber warfare tools, and using AI to evade evolving defenses. The B-21 Raider will be the centerpiece of a new generation of warfare, a system of systems, not just a lone aircraft. As it enters service later this decade, it will silently join the B-2s and B-1Bs above the clouds. There, in the space between peace and war, these bombers will wait, unseen, unchallenged, and ready. Because in the skies of the 21st century, victory belongs to the shadows. What most people don't realize is that stealth bombers aren't just weapons. They're strategic chess pieces. While satellites and fighter jets grab headlines, the real action happens in the shadows. There are missions the Pentagon will never confirm. Deep reconnaissance runs, flights along contested airspace, and silent shows of force designed to be seen only by the enemy. In some cases, just knowing a B-2 is airborne is enough to force adversaries into hesitation or retreat. The B-2 has reportedly flown within reach of North Korea and Iran. Its very presence reshapes diplomacy. It tells enemies, we can strike, you won't see it coming, and you can't stop it. And now with the B-21 Raider entering service, those missions go deeper, quieter, and smarter. Operating with AI support and networked intelligence, the B-21 can adjust its route mid-flight, respond to new threats, and even coordinate with drone swarms in real time. This isn't Cold War doctrine. This is next-gen battlefield orchestration executed from the sky. That's why the B-21 matters. It's not just a bomber. It's a promise that no matter how advanced the threat, America's power will always arrive, unseen, unheard, and unstoppable.